Hello, my friend. So in this quick demo, I just want to show you the quick updates of what you have done uh, so far in the Stockify app. So the first thing, we just a little bit modified a, the point of sale. First of all, instead of using the subcategories, we use the categories here to get the to fetch the products or to filter the products. Two, we also modified the select customers. So we also included now, you can select all the customers, including the ones that were registered from, uh, that were registered from the e-commerce. As you can see, the people are registered from the e-commerce, they can also be seen onto this interface. For instance, I can now select another person, this one, and then I just go ahead and create one, maybe uh, one order with this person. Let me just go ahead and check a an order like these two items and uh, let me just go press order okay so this i'm taking with this client uh, you can just go ahead and print the receipt close so if i just go to the dashboard okay there is this new order as you can see here and since it's from the point of sale people are picking things it has order status so the first functionality we have here as you can see you can modify the status if for instance this is not delivered you can quickly change this to anything you want okay you can change it to pending or processing so it's like i just say processing and i just update okay and with that you can see now the status uh, is processing right and this uh, this component uh, this status component here we used it over uh, most of our components for instance if i go to the detail or orders where you can view all the orders you can see this new order right now here it is still in processing and we reuse the same component you can change it wherever you see the status you are able to change the status to any place you want you can also just see that uh, on these orders we have the search functionality and this you can search not only by the uh, the customer names you can also search by the order numbers which is very important so you can just say qb and just like typing in q already just brings in this one okay uh, you can also use the name uh, for instance richard so you just say like richard here okay and you can see we have two users uh, sorry two orders uh for richard uh i can also just go ahead and look at the detail of this order and you can also still see that it has this processing you can if you want you can still go ahead and change the order to anything you want okay so i'm just going to go back to the orders and now we can look at so sales so for each order you create it automatically creates sales okay for instance if you view this order here uh sorry if you just view this order it has two items as you can see so these the sales uh there will be two sales you made two sales so we can just go ahead and look at the sales here okay and you can see like for instance richard today just made two sales right now okay uh with this 200 dollar uh, this apple iphone and the apple macbook just these are two sales as you can see them the two sales are 11. uh you can also search the sales for instance we can just search by the name of the customer you can search by the product name okay for instance you can just say macbook so you can also search the by the product name um then you can also have for each of these sales, we have, of course, the customers. So you can want to look at the customers in a, a granular format. So if you just go to the customers, you come here. So you can see we have two customers, this and this and the walk-in. Okay, you can just go ahead and look at the their orders they have made. For instance, I can click on this person and look at their orders. So you can see this person has particularly two orders okay and you, you can also say that we have pagination you can look at the names look at their email phone numbers and you also we have pagination moving on here so you, you know it's just only one page that's why we don't have others if we just go and check other customer for instance this walk-in who has many orders if i go and view orders 
Uh, you can see that if that you don't have a phone number, it doesn't exist here. And for the pagination, now we have four items. You can even see orders there are four. And then here we have this uh, pagination. You have this next and previous. So if I say next, it will go to the second page, as you can see. Okay. And this is really, really great. Okay. Um, and I think that's uh, so far what we have uh, added uh, into our app. We're just making it as more nice every time we create it and we're adding in more features. And if you have specifically have any feature you want us to include or you want me to include in the uh, in this uh, system, I can actually add that uh, for you. Okay. So and if you want to know how or to learn how we build this amazing application just simply go to the link i'm just going to show you uh the courses here you can just go ahead and go through it and see if this can work for you so thank you so much see you in the next video